What's up friends and welcome to Freelancing with Chris of Emery. I'm Chris of Emery and today we are going to have a look on a quick way to bring that little reflecting shine on your logo using Adobe After Effects. Like I've said before, I'm working on my own animated short pilot called Robin12 and recently I finished the frame by frame animation of the logo live on stream using Toon Boom Harmony. You should definitely come hang out on my live streams if you want to get an in-depth look on how I work on my animated show. Latest stream is always up for everyone here on YouTube but if you want a full stream library you get access to that by becoming a member on this channel by clicking join down below. And with that out of the way we head straight into After Effects. Alright, new project and double click in project field to import new logo. Make sure you are working with a logo that has transparent background. This is a PNG with alpha channel. EPS or AI works great too. Alright, so I duplicate my logo and go up into the effects field and write light sweep to get CC light sweep. Drag it onto the top layer and now we have this awesome shine we wanted and from here we can change some settings to get the right type of lights we want. I don't have much to say on these settings honestly, you can all play around yourself but one thing I want to say is down in reception, I personally for this project want to go for cut out for the simple reason I will get the light separate in this layer without the logo as you can see. So now I animate the center by hitting the stopwatch at the beginning of the timeline and then move down a little bit in the timeline and move the center again to create the second keyframe. Now it's animated and I just want a slight easy ease on that final frame to have it slow down a little bit. When happy with the animation, I want to make sure it only affects the metallic 12 in my logo by creating a mask. With the shine logo layer selected, I drag out a rectangle with the rectangle tool covering the 12 part. And now the light sweep only affects the 12. Since I want a second sweep following the first one, I duplicate this layer and move slightly to the right in the timeline. Note that we can see both at the same time only because we chose cut out on reception. And now if I want the second sweep to be wider for example, I can just go in in that layer and change the settings. Done. And that's it, shiny part is done and along with the frame by frame sequence and some sound design, here is my final Robin 12 logo. Make sure to join the Creative Skull Cult on Discord where we talk all things animation. Link to that and ways to support me and this channel down in the subscription. Stay creative and see you next time!